song and my house, so oh, all this thing, you and they here. Now, Papa, give me oh, everything when you're here. Make me check the house. Make me see my room. Now, Papa, night put me like this. Make me greet and for me. Make me greet everybody. Make me greet Papa. Good morning, everybody. His God given vision. God entrusted David Biome with numerous visions beyond his physical capabilities. His first instruction to start Salvation Ministries Home of Success with the mandate to establish the Kingdom of God here on earth. His next mandate came in 2003 when God led him to start Port Harcourt Miracle Crusade. Wherever is sitting on your destiny, on your blessing, on your promotion, I command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. But I got miracle crusade. We went to the civic center. We got the problem miracle crusade. We stopped till seven. No space again. The stadium was full. Outside full, everywhere, nowhere. The night shifted. Night of glory. And after night of glory, the biggest program ever in Padakot was night of glory. After that, five nights of glory. When that chapter closed, it said glory lay. In education too, Pastor David obeyed God's vision. On September 21st, 2011, Hokma International Academy Infant and Junior School was established. Then, on September 15th, 2014, the College Day School was established. And on September 22nd, 2018, the College Boarding School was established. Hokma International Academy is an education powerhouse now standing as Nigerian's best secondary school. In last year's statistics, they recorded the best 100 schools in Nigeria and our school happens to be number one. Under his leadership, the church also embarked on the construction of the world-class edifice, the Salvation Ministries Cathedral at Igruta, a testament to divine guidance. And by God's divine leading, an over 200 hectares property was acquired for the establishment of the university. His love for God. I love God. I'm not pretending. No. I love him and he knows. Go and ask him. <laughs> Long before he became a pastor, he gave God all his electronics as an act of love and devotion. I carried every electronics I had because I had no physical cash, but I had something. And I went to God and said, Lord, this is the best I have. Take all. And God said, you will never beg. Later, he gave his first box sum of money to God. First money that entered my hand as a pastor, the money could buy a V-boot. In that day, it was 723,000 that time. V-boot as at that time was 450. I had no car. So don't say nothing like this is just, I'm not preaching it. No car, I was still trekking. Our former church then, this church was sagging. And I called in Gina and said, how much will it take to renovate this church? Don't raise the offering. I'll give the offering first. And I gave the engineer the entire money. I removed only 23,000 for books. Say books. I didn't preach it though. I obeyed. One day I came. I said, Lord, what will make me to be a blessing? He said, you want to be a blessing? Then bless humanity. I said, how do I bless? He said, buy one of those buses yourself. Do I need to enter the bus? No, but you know one of those buses I bought with my money. Not Toto. Don't think because I'm the richest. I just love him. I didn't say salvation is David Biobi have bought one. I bought. They are different between church and me. We are not the same. A lover of God is somebody who will do for God what he has not done for himself. Hey! And we are few who are in that class. In the whole world, we are very few. His love for humanity. While his love for God is undeniable, David Biobi's love for humanity is equally profound. His charitable efforts are vast, yet understated. If I don't give, it's as if I want to die. I love to give. I, I just love to give. I believe one of the major passion of Papa is to see everybody empowered. Either you are his church member or not, he just want to get everybody empowered. So we're trusting God that at the end of this training, we'll have about 1,300 businesses starting here in Port Harcourt through um, David Ibiyomi Foundation. It's amazing 
out that you have men of God and you have good man. Pastor David is beyond just a man of God. He is a good man. Through the David Ibiumi Foundation, he has touched lives across continents, offering scholarships to over a thousand students on his 60th birthday. And my 60th birthday, I gave scholarship to 1,000 persons. 1,000. I give personal scholarship of 2 point something billion. If I use 10% of my income that I get, I'll be buying houses every month. Every month. My money goes for charity more than anything else. Sending relief materials to communities impacted by natural disasters like flood victims in Bayosa, Makodi, Asaba, Meduguri, or those displaced from war-torn areas like Liberia, Jos, Plateau State. When the Elibam community faced power crisis, he brought them a new transformer. Every time you live around a neighborhood, affect your neighborhood positively. Rebuilt his alma mater, Beham Methodist Academy. It's not all that you have that matters, but what you give to people. Built a new PFN building. Built a hundred room ultra modern female hostel at Ignatius Ajiro University. Built, furnished, and equipped a 100% tuition free school, home of Success Academy at 100 Agri Road. His compassion for the sick has made him spend millions of naira on medical treatments for those in need. But his generosity doesn't just stop with the needy or the afflicted. He rewards loyalty and faithfulness amongst his staff as well. He's living in a rented house somewhere because he's a very junior staff. So we decided as a commission to buy him a four-bedroom bungalow. Whatever made you, keep it up. This is just the beginning. God bless you. If a staff do his job, his or her job well, without stressing him, he must surely reward that staff. He used to give cars, used to give house, used to give lands. There are even in cash, it's on can table. There is a staff at a good site, which I'm where the papa gave a car. I'm the one that will go buy the car for the person. Papa just gave him as a gift. When somebody does not steal, I have a nature as a leader to always reward that person. Jeremiah, I'll tell you about it. Let's show you the house we bought for him. Please give him all his documents, amen. Everything here is your own. My life has changed tremendously, tremendously. Because he thought to now, I'd had this worry, this anxiety. What would happen at the expiration of my tenancy? where I was staying. But that worry is gone now by virtue of this gift. I now have a house I call my own. Nobody will come push me around or quick notice and all the rest of it. I am now at comfort. I am not at ease. And this is as a result of this gift. I'm so grateful to God Almighty. These acts of kindness are just glimpses into the millions of dollars he has invested into making the world a better place for countless individuals. Passion for soul winning. From his early days, even as a young brother in Living Faith Church, David Ibiumi carried a deep burning passion for soul winning. And I won 56 souls as a brother. I was not a pastor. 56. I didn't say preach of 56. 56 souls that were stamped. Born again, baptized, mansion, registered, have membership number, came to church, 56 of them as a brother. I had all the addresses there. There was no mobile phone in Nigeria. They were rooted in the church, 56. I preached to more than 56, but 56 of them were members, full members of the church. I believe, I believe you died and rose, rose to save me. To save me. Right, now, right now, with my mouth, with my mouth I, confess. I confess. Thank you, Father, Thank you, Father for saving me. For saving me. In Jesus David Ibiumi's life is given by a singular passion, the Great Commission. With every word, every action, every prayer, he exemplifies a heart burning to reconcile souls to Christ. Compassion for the sick. Because I was the organizer of uh, 
Parkinson's disease then. So I was taken to the hospital here, Akron Hospital. And you know, when we discovered that there's a place to talk where it can be managed properly. Papa said, come, which school you are going to go to talking. No matter the cost, your life is more important to me. The first money involved was uh, a $1,000 cash. That is about uh, 70 million naira, all that we spent. So thank God we went there and then the patient was conducted and then uh, it was successful. If not, the BME and PC BME, you know, whom God about my wife, my spiritual parents, by now I've been over. Because he's not going to take me away, but God said no. Sing that song one more time. I don't care where you're crying, except God in the corner. This is the last day you go through that sickness. Except God in the corner. Sing that song every day. Pastor David's passion for the sick is deeply personal. His prayer for the sick comes from a place of personal understanding and empathy. I remember I told my wife who was sick in the hospital. I went to him the night to come pray for the woman that was sick in the hospital. As I came back, he was crying in the car. I was like, what's happened to this man? He said, oh my God, I said, God, I'm in my fresh. That was about 2002 or there about to like, God, I'm in my fresh. I'm in my fresh, I want grace, I want power. You know, to be able to do, to assist humanity. So, and I now, now that the grace has come, I also have stand up on the fashion of God in Him, the daily of assisting humanity with money, you know, with money, so on there, which I have benefited from. She's from Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone, and she had a gunshot? Yes. Since during their war time, right in this service, she couldn't feel that pellet she was feeling and the pain suddenly oh, disappeared. Oh, give the king of kings a big... Can you see the scar of the gunshot? Yeah. And now no trace of any pain in her body. Yeah, Will you give Jesus a big hand? The impact. We remember Pastor David Biome in the headquarter in GRA, uh, Port Harcourt. Now the Pastor David, the Salvation Ministry of Homo Sociales is not only there, it's everywhere spread through Nigeria. They are in Ghana, we are everywhere in the Europe, across the continents, across the ocean. Uh, that is the, his mission, but uh, I believe it is not a dot uh, or full stop. Today, Salvation Ministries is a global powerhouse, touching lives in ways that only God could have orchestrated. Crusades, healing services, and the unadulterated word of God have brought hope to the hopeless, strength to the weary, and faith to the lost. عندما يتكلم الله إلى أحدهم فلا يخاطب الجميع هناك شخص ما لا يرى بعينه اليسرى هذه العين لا تغلق بسهولة وصدم عندما بدأ يرى بعينه بوضوح باسم يسوع. His teachings have reached beyond the borders of Nigeria, translated into French, Spanish, Portuguese, and numerous other languages. He said, I came to Nigeria to tap of God's grace. That you came all the way from China to Kontath. Let it go with you right now. That you go to that nation with fresh fire and subdue that nation for Christ. Thank Jesus. His books, numbering over a hundred, have become beacons of wisdom, lighting the way for millions. See, 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 trailer. God do better work here. Oh. Boy, see, 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 see. See, see where, where, the, where the person go come out and I see seat. Well, me, I go take one of these books, they send a salvation ministry. And I go carry one and read it because this book must get something to say because. Uh, from what I see, this, 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 this is bigger than testimony. I don't know what to put up. See the guy, and this guy, where they carry the towel. This guy. Now come out for this motor. Well, I see the book where the thing carry. Anybody see this book? Make it find a read, though. Because something. Working with divine health. What? Wonderful. Now I got the book, and I make a be like this. You won't take one book. There, there. No book plenty for grand. I will share it for people to see testimony. Glory be to God. This is the book he was carrying. Full loaded with this book. David, uh, be your me. Only the name of the book, sir, man. Walking oh. in the bare heads. God set me because of you. 
and until your blessed heaven will not rest. I decree my God to bless you. His life, his journey, his faith have become blueprints for generations to come. He is indeed an embodiment of love, embodying the essence of Christ's love through his actions, his words, and his heart for humanity. Let us rise and give God all the glory. Your life shall keep going from strength to strength Amen. and from glory to glory. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The glory we see today shall only be multiplied. Amen. It will never suffer reduction. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen.